Thank you for checking out my video. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough on how to replace your lamp socket. I had this lamp for over 10 years and this week it finally gave up on me. The switch is no longer working, but I'm not ready to give it up yet. I'm going to try to fix it by replacing, by giving it a new socket here and see if it's going to work. So if you're interested, stay tuned and I will walk you through the whole process. Let's start with the tools that you might need. You need a screwdriver here. You need a uh, insulation stripper. You might need this plier. I have a scissor here because I might use the electrical tape here. Always come in handy. And of course you'll need your new socket for the replacement. I got this from Home Depot. It's under five dollars. So we'll see if it's going to work. So this is the lamp that I am going to work on. I'm going to bring it down so it's easier to work with here. Bring it to the floor like so. First and foremost, find a comfortable spot. You can see here I'm working on the floor here. You want to think about safety first. Unplug the lamp off the wall. You don't want to work on a live lamp. Then you screw the top part off here. To take the, uh, the shade out of the way. The switch here gave up on us this week and it's no longer working. You have this uh, frame here. There are two locking mechanism here. You want to bring it up like so. You basically just squeeze it together like so. Boom. Easy as that. After that you have just the light bulb and the socket here. And here's that switch. What I would do first before I take the whole thing off, I want to do a little comparison to see if the, the one I purchased will match. So I'm not sure if you can see. This one doesn't seem to match. So here's the base, right? The color is different as you can see. I noticed that the size here, this one here is a little bit bigger than this one here. So I'm not going to replace this. I think the top part here will match the bottom part here, right? But uh, yours might be different. You might fit and you could easily just screw this part off from the base here, from the middle frame here, as you can see here. There's also a little screw here that you can take off, but I'm not going to, to do that because this one doesn't seem to match, okay? Another thing that I wanted to point out here is that this is a three-way socket, but I only have a one-way light bulb, so I never get the benefit of the three-way. So to get this out, if you can read here, it says press. So you want to press this area here to unlock it. Boom, and then just take it out like so. Let me just remove this. Right, so you have the base here. And here you can see the insulator insulating this part from this part because chances are you'll, you'll touch this, right, when you switch the light off and on. So the cardboard insulator here protects you from uh, getting shocked. So here are the, the wires. Before you remove the wires from the socket, you want to make note of which one is the live wire and which one is the return wire, right? As you can see here, this copper plate here. So that is connected to the live wire, which corresponds to this particular wire. So you want to make note of that, right? You could also tell if you can't follow the line. The live wire is really smooth, right? You can feel it. But the return wire, they're not as smooth. They have ridges on the edge. You can feel it with your fingers. I'm going to use this electrical tape here. I'm just going to cut a small piece like so. Put it on the, the live wire. For a three-way socket, when you turn on the switch here, it will touch the different points of the light bulb socket base. So the new one that I purchased, it's not a three-way, it's a one-way, right? And as you can see here, there's a big difference here. This one here only has that copper plate. It doesn't have the other terminal like this one here as you see. Let me just take the outside off. So this copper screw here, you connect to the live wire. And then this is silver screw here. This is the return wire. So you want to make sure 
the lag wire here connects to the uh, copper screw. I also want to point out that the wire coming off the ground here is knotted. If your new replacement fits, you want to unscrew this and you might want to undo the wire. But you have to also redo the knot here. So this way, if you trip on the wire here, it won't tuck, you know, these wires out of the socket. And that's why the knot here is meant to prevent that from happening. So I'm going to cut like so. Boom. Boom. Look, I'm pushing it and then I get more out here. So let me just do this here. Let me show you how to do the knot. Make sure the loops are coming outside from each. Go behind. Now it goes behind. And so this one now is going to go into this loop here. So both are going to each other's loop. And you tighten up like that. Pull the wire from the bottom. Like so. Now it's stuck. I'm going to follow my live wire. And I want to make sure I don't forget. So I'm re reattaching my marker here so I know where the live wire is. Okay. So once you tie the knot, you want to strip off maybe about this much, half an inch of the wires. Boom, as you can see it. So you want to consolidate it. It become one piece instead of a, a whole bunch of strands. And the same thing here. Boom, consolidate it like so. Now you have two pieces sticking out. So here comes the exciting part. We're going to wire the socket. So I'm holding the live wire here. So you want to make a hook like so. The hot wire or the live wire will be connected to the uh, copper screw right here. So you want to make a hook clockwise position so that when you screw it in, it'll go along you know, with the curvature of the, the wire. Okay, really tight here. So now I can take off my marker here. Or you can leave it on if you want to. So the next wire will be the neutral wire or return wire. You want to make that hook again. So make that hook there. Boom. So you want to make sure that the wire goes underneath the screw. So now they're both screwed in and I'm going to tuck the bottom of the, uh, you know, kind of pull it, see, just to make sure it's maximized there. So folks, while I was doing this, uh, it just occurred to me that I don't even have to use this because the shell are the same here, just different color. So I can actually reuse the old shell here. Let me see if it fits. Uh, there we go. Yep, you see it fits perfectly. So I don't have to you know, use a different color now. I have the same color that I can use. So that's pretty awesome. All right, so you just have to push it in like so. Make sure it's tight. Oh, it's in, okay. So now we have a new switch. Hopefully that's going to work. Okay, so let's screw this in. All right, tight. Going to screw this in here. Now this is screwed in. I'm going to uh, plug in the wire here. Okay, so this is the, the ultimate test here to see if it's going to work. I hope I wired correctly. I think so. Okay. Boom. Oh, nice. That's really bright. It worked. Cool. One more time. Really bright. Beautiful. Okay. Nice, beautiful. There you have it. I hope the video was helpful. So if your lamp doesn't turn on, don't give up on it yet. It might be just a switch that is not working that you can easily replace, like I've shown you earlier. Thank you so much again, and I hope to see you again soon.